This tutorial will teach you about Flipster. Flipster gives you access to digital magazines and allows you to browse and read and download the magazine articles as you flip through it. It is a little different than a database because it's very visual and it allows you to really look through magazines to find current event articles that might be useful for class to discuss. You will want to download Flipster on your iPad. This will allow you to read very easily. Open it up and make sure you say get started and type in the name of your school. Your school will be New Trier High School. When you see this, please click on the name to select it. You will be then brought to the authentication page for New Trier. This will have you type in your student ID number and password. If you're a staff member, you'll use your staff username. Click login and you will then be logged in on the app. This means that this account will stay on the app. So you can always open the app and browse the magazines that are there. Once you find something you like, you're gonna be able to click on it to download it and read it. You can scroll through it and go to the side for the triple lines. This will allow you to go through the different sections of the magazine to find different articles. Once you find something you like, you can click on it and be brought to that page. If you find something you like and want to discuss, what you can do is create a bookmark. The bookmark image is on the top left corner of the page. At the bottom right corner where there is a pair of glasses and the word read, you can click on this to find all of the bookmarks you have previously made. This will allow you to go back to articles that you've bookmarked in order to talk about the ideas in class. You can download as many magazines as you want. That way you'll be able to read them when you do not have Wi-Fi. Make sure you click on previous magazines from different months that you want to download and then you'll be able to access them later. If your teacher wants you to save the article, you're going to need to use Notability. This will allow you to take a screen capture of the image that you found from Flipster and insert it. The reason for doing this is because there is no way to convert the magazine you're looking at into a PDF otherwise. If you do it this way, you'll also be able to an annotate the article that the teacher wants to see. Make sure you insert only one image at a time. Select that image and make it bigger enough so that you can again read it and annotate it well. After you insert one, you're going to go back into your photo album and select the next one. This way, again, you can reposition items before you add more things. You don't have to use the app in order to get to Flipster. You can also go to the library homepage and click on the orange Flipster content. Then you're going to add your username and password and log in. This will allow you to get to the web browser view of Flipster. However, this isn't quite as visually appealing, but it still gets you the same content as before. If you have any questions, make sure you contact the librarians. You can do that by going into the Canvas app, going to the library page, and emailing us through the Canvas library page.